the Shetland Islands. Cold, forbidding hunks of rock off the coast of Scotland and home of the puffins. Timid, gentle birds that look a lot like tropical parrots, but live within a few hundred miles of the Arctic Circle. Puffins, like all seabirds, live on a diet of fish, so most of their time is spent in the water or under it. And they're pretty successful at fishing. Like the pelican, their jaws can be unhinged, so they can hold enormous quantities of food. And they need it. These little fellas have big appetites. They need all that food because they expend large amounts of energy. When one bird is startled, the whole flock takes off. Strange sounds, a sudden wind, a passing shadow, anything out of the ordinary is enough to send the flock into the sky. And they can really fly. Their short wings enable them to reach speeds up to 50 miles an hour. And if one puffin in flight is enough to scare the whole flock, then one puffin landing is enough to bring in the rest. But the time on land is only temporary. Soon another fright, either real or imaginary, will send them fly. In the nest, the puffin hatchling looks pretty much like any other bird. But they are very different from their water bird cousins. Take the duck, for example. He swims underwater using powerful legs and webbed feet for propulsion. Puffins, on the other hand, actually fly underwater. With short, strong wings propel them through the water with astonishing speed and grace. Since they feed on fast-moving sardines, speed is essential for survival. The legs are used for steering rather than swimming, as with other water birds. Whether in the sky or under the sea, the puffin is at home. The only bird that flies underwater. We saw it because you asked for it. <laughs>